This is Lewis Ritson and you're watching Sport Icons. Right, so where do I start with this one? Uh, Luke Campbell versus Yvonne Mendy. A rematch, of course, from, was it three years ago that Yvonne Mendy beat Luke Campbell? And Luke Campbell has done the right thing. Okay, for me, whenever a fighter loses a fight, if you're at the top of your game, of course, you should always try and look to get revenge on that fighter if possible. Unless, of course, you've been totally outclassed and you know that you, you're not going to win, then, of course, it's pointless. But if you can, always try to get the rematch. And that's exactly what he's done. And in the co-main event, the chief support, if you like, for Joshua and Povetkin, Luke Campbell versus Yvonne Mendy for the WBC mandatory position at lightweight. So, of course, whoever was to win this fight would then go on to fight for the WBC lightweight title. Fantastic stuff. Now, of course, for whatever reason, Yvonne Mendy, even though he beat Luke Campbell, has never actually got a world title shot after then, even though he's been undefeated ever since. But Luke Campbell, of course, has got a world title shot and lost it, of course, against... Jorge Linares. Now this fight, I'm not going to lie to you, I wasn't particularly looking forward to it but I was happy that it was done because as I said I always want fighters to get revenge if possible and that's exactly what Luke Campbell done. He wins this one by unanimous decision and he did outclass Yvonne Mendy. Um, Mendy was the aggressor, he was the one coming forward but wasn't landing enough meaningful shots or enough of them at least anyway. Um, he was landing some meaningful shots, of course, which brings me on to the, the next point, that even though Luke, Luke Campbell spent practically the entire fight on the back foot, he was getting tagged, especially early on, with some pretty clean punches. And I don't like to see that. I think Luke Campbell is much better than what he's shown here. Now, I do know that he's just been um, training with his new trainer in Shane McGuigan, who I do rate, of course, but there seemed to be something missing with Luke Campbell. This wasn't the Luke Campbell that I'm used to seeing. I don't know, maybe he was just trying to ensure of the victory because he had previously lost to him. So maybe it was that, potentially. So I'm not going to give him a hard time for it at all, but he did win this one comfortably and why Von Mendy was jumping up and down at the end of the fight um, as if he won it. There's no way in hell that Von Mendy won this fight. Um, maybe it wasn't as wide apart as maybe the judges had it, but still, for me, unanimous decision, Luke Campbell for sure. And again, I'm not going to lie... From round three onwards, I was kind of losing interest at times. Um, I found myself just reading messages from the previous videos for Price and Kuzmin and um, Akoli and Askin on those two videos there. So go give them uh, videos a watch as well while you're here. So I don't remember too much of this fight at times. I mean, of course, I was aware it was there and I was listening to the commentary right the way through. So if anything had happened, I'd been straight up looking. But at times I was drifting off. But of what I did see, of course, well, I saw most of it. I'm, I am exaggerating a little bit, but I was bored. To be honest, I was bored. And yes, Luke Campbell won this one, and it just wasn't a pretty fight. It's not one that I'll probably ever watch again. And it's not often that I'm wrong on fights, and so far I have a 100% record on events. So before an event happens, I pretty much know if the whole event is going to be a success or not a success. I've never ever been wrong. And this one, I said that I wasn't too keen on the entire undercard for Joshua Povetkin. And so far, I've been right. I haven't been impressed with this undercard at all. Um, even the fights. Listen, I'm not going to hate on any of the fights at all. But for me, no, I, I, I haven't been impressed. And I'm hoping that the main event, which is about to start in a few minutes, is going to do a little bit better than what this whole undercard has, to be honest with you. And signs are not looking good, and I've got a real funny feeling about this main event, and I hope to be wrong. I hope, hope, hope to be wrong. I want Joshua to get through this one. I don't care about an exciting fight. Um, yes, okay, so the entire undercard so far hasn't quite lived up to what many had hoped, but it's done pretty much what I thought it would do. And the main event, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm in the moment. Don't know. But anyway, Luke Campbell defeats Yvonne Mendy. He is now the WBC mandatory challenger for the lightweight. As I said, yes, very dominant win. I, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with it whatsoever. But no, um, it's not really a fight that I'm excited about. And, and you know what? I'm a big fan of Luke Campbell. But he can do so much better than what I've seen in this fight. 
I think if somebody like Lewis Ritson was in there against Mendy, he would have blitzed him. That's just my opinion. But there again, maybe if on Mendy's a lot tougher, then maybe I'm giving him credit for, as he has been undefeated since he last defeated Luke Campbell. But anyway, congratulations to Luke Campbell. Here comes the main event. Catch you all on the next video. Subscribe.